welcome back. This is Bonescope with an episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. I'm joined, as always, by my final squad of Edge, Kane, Rosa, Cecil, and Rydia. When we last left off, we were in this giant cave known as the Lunar Subterranean, and I had finally reached a save point, which I used immediately. We're still on basement number five, and as soon as I take one step, you can see the what I am headed for. But we do get in a fight along the way. I am just going to run. I'm not even going to lie about that. Oh no, 10 damage. Get out of there. I don't have time to take on the blue dragon. Sometimes you drop a gill when you run, but eh, I lucked out that time. Didn't drop anything. Alright, I see the sword. I want the sword. Give me the sword. The power of this sword, which Master Zemus detests, shall not be released. And it's boss time. We're up against the Wyvern here in Wyvern. Can I get an attack off? No. Okay. Wyvern, first things first, cast Mega Nuke, which damn near kills my entire party. Alright, we need you to use uh, life on Kane. And then hopefully, yes, Rosa gets her turn so we can cast Cure 4 on everybody. Try to get everybody as high of HP as we can. Now, we're just going to have to fight with Rydia, unfortunately, because Wyvern casts Wall. So, um, there's not much you can do to, to counter that. You can't use uh, magic, and if you do, it will, it will result in your doom. You can, however, cast Bahamut, call Bahamut, uh, but I don't really recommend that because he will counter Bahamut in particular. Uh, with Mega Flare once again, which as you saw, pretty much devastated my party. Holy crap, that did a lot on Cecil. Is it ready his turn yet? Because I do have a secret strategy, you might be wondering why'd you attack with Rosa? Because I am going to be summoning Azura. And Azura does something very special. Anybody but Cecil. Yeah, anybody else should be able to, to withstand another nuke. Alright, we all lived. Hooray, everybody else fights, but we do have Azura coming out, and Azura heals your party for a shit ton. More than I probably will ever get in terms of HP in this game. So that's pretty much my strategy, unfortunately. It is not a very good strategy, but with with all those uh, all those magic spells just cancelled out by that one wall. I'm pretty much screwed here. Damn, that does so much damage on him. Alright, let's just keep jumping. Now this is going to be a long drawn out fight, as you might expect because he becomes a wall. Anybody? Yeah, we'll just um, we'll go for a cure for Why not spread my MP usage around a little bit? Because this is going to be a long fight. Uh, now, unfortunately, I don't really have a way to counter that wall and if I did, he'd probably just uh, recast it again. I should probably change Raya's equipment up a bit, um, hoping that I can get some kind of you bastard. Some kind of status effect off, but I doubt this guy is weak to anything ever. So let's just try to keep going with as many attacks as I can, and down goes Wyvern! I remember have s having such a such a harder time with him before, uh, but we do get 12,860 experience. Rosa gains a level, Edge gains a level, and that is it. I was kind of hoping for more than that. What do we get for that battle? What was the sword? We've received the Crystal Sword. Uh, in later games, this is known as the Ragnarok. Uh, so much better as a name than the Crystal Sword. No, Ragnarok. It would explain why it's better than the Excalibur. Because it is from 190 to 231. Did defense go up too? Defense also goes up by 8. So it's ridiculous. Can uh, can Kane use the Excalibur? That would be awesome. No, of course not. Of course not. And then I bet Edge can't use it because they're different kinds of swords. Whatever they're swords. They should... Yeah, whatever, fine. I wanted somebody else to use it, damn it, and you wouldn't let me. So, with the wyvern down, I am going to take this opportunity to rest and save again. 
with that done, it is time to do some backtracking. All of this was pretty much for the Ragnarok, which is what I'm going to be calling the Crystal Sword probably from now on, because it's such a better name. Such a better name. We pretty much need to backtrack all the way to uh, where we saw those two um, bridges. The two bridges that led to the secret passage that took us down here. So, just head up here. As you can see, there is nothing up there. So let's keep going back across the secret bridge here. And now you see the two bridges that I was talking about. Now we can head the other way. All right, let's take this other path down. Really, the game just refuses to let me explain where I'm going. We need to head down here, obviously, because that's where I'm going. Let's go into this room, and now we can head over to the north west <laughs> i wanted to go east but that is where the door is and in here we can find more monsters are they repeats they are but de for defeating those repeat enemies we do get ourselves the heroine uh dress in future games this is the minerva dress i believe or minerva something don't they usually go by minerva bustiers but i don't think that's what they're called in this game uh i'm gonna try to put that on rosa if she'll let me uh, from 58, 20, 32 to 67, 27, actually. I think I might just keep her on the white, because magic damage is really where she's having difficulty. So let's try to put that on Rosa instead. Will this be better? 48, 31, 64, 27, once again. But that is such a huge increase for physical defense. I think it's going to be an upgrade for Rydia, to be honest with you because that sorcerer was not working out that well for her. So now let's go northeast where the door is. <laughs> I remember where the door is. And now we are in basement number seven. Now we can head for the room over here. We need to go into there. What is in this room here? Why, it's another save point, which I will be using. All right, with that done, let's head out of here and head over into the next room. I bet you guys saw that from before. And in here we have a stick. I want the stick. Okay, no. Instead we get into a fight with a trigger. With that trigger out of the way, let's head forward. And I can get the stick. Yeah, it's not really a stick, but it looks like a stick, doesn't it? Woe to those who seek the gain. The Lance of White. This is the Lance of White. The White Lance. The Holy Lance. And what the hell happened to Edge? Oh. So... There's a small little trick to this fight. Unfortunately, it means Edge did have to die. Alright, let's go for a life potion on Edge. Right away? Right away. Because the trick to this fight is that whenever you bring back a party member, Plague will recast Doom on everybody. Or, sorry, count. So hopefully he does that soon before the counter goes all the way to the bottom. There we go. Counts, casts count again and now we've got the timer full once more. So now we can continue to do damage. Otherwise, at my current levels, I cannot do enough damage to kill him in one go. He casts fast so that it actually uh, speeds up your counter. That's that's the point of that. He's not actually trying to speed you up so you can kill him faster. He's speeding you up so that you die faster. And a couple more attacks should do it here. And down goes the plague. And that's the trick. That's how you keep everybody alive. And for that fight you get a damn near no gill. But a decent amount of experience, 6,240. That is good. Rydia has gained a level, and she's learned nuke. Hooray. Now I can start nuking my enemies into oblivion. But the real reward for that is the White Spear. This is known as the Holy Lance in, uh, in later versions. So let's go ahead and equip that, because it is Kane's ultimate weapon. We are getting ultimate weapons today. So from 119... 80 defense, does it change? It does, it goes down. But from 119 to 136, it's well worth the drop in the defense, if you ask me. So, I do need to heal, and I'll probably go back to the save point and 
probably use a tent back there. Just, just to be sure that everybody is fully ready to go, and I'll meet you right back out here. All right, let's continue forth and head into the third room, and here we see two treasure chests. Uh-oh. The sacred ribbon shall not be within your hands, and it's another boss fight. This, uh, this time we're up against lunar dragons. Now, these guys really aren't that difficult. I don't know why they're technically considered bosses. Uh, they are immune to uh, summons for because they do that. They're also immune uh, to, to all magic. I was hoping to sneak one in, but couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. And then they start casting high-level magic on us, so we're just going to need to try to get everybody as high as we can in terms of HP at all times. So we're just going to have to keep going for regular attacks. Damn! Cecil's Ragnarok is kicking ass. That's because it is strong against these uh, these enemies because they are undead. And the Ragnarok does have the Holy Elemental on them. And down goes Rydia. Alright, so hopefully I can get the life's life potion off no not in time so all right he's gonna be low on hp for a little bit here just try to keep everybody alive that's the secret to this fight unfortunately not ready yet why do you keep making me use life potions yeah it doesn't matter who you hit as long as it doesn't kill him to be honest with you and right, let's go for a cure four because this isn't working out well for me right now. Let's try to get everybody as high as we can. Now fight! Go here for her. What? Oh, that's bullshit. She was up. <gasps> she was up, damn it. Alright, so that should be at least enough to take out one lunar dragon. I got very lucky with the right idea there. Okay, max damage there. Uh, don't kill Rydia, don't kill Rydia, hooray! Everybody lives, anybody but Rydia. Oh, your wall is gone. That's gonna kill her now, isn't it? Screw you, game. <laughs> I just want my Rydia alive, is that asking too damn much, game? Apparently, it is. Because they're not letting me do it. Cecil, you are on attacking, I shouldn't have had you use an item at all. Just don't use two of those and I should be good. Then down goes the Lunar Dragon. Finally. But for that fight we get to 20,000 experience. Holy crap. And Edge has gained a level. Ready against nothing even though she did practically nothing that entire fight. But what were they guarding here? They did kind of give it away. They are giving us ribbons. Which I am going to equip immediately onto my mages. Because they're weak to everything. And this should protect all their statuses as well. It is a ribbon in a Final Fantasy game after all. So from 58-32, 60-34. Not that great. I mean, it is a big improvement for a uh, helmet. Ribbons are still helmets in this game. Uh, that does change as we go further in the series. But for now, they are still helmets. So we got two across the board. Once again, I will be going back to the save point, and I'll meet you right outside here. <laughs>